Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to add blood splatters on the ground like this. So as you can see, uh, according to this blood trail, so when this blood trail hits the ground, it spawns a series of decals to show the blood on the ground. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right, let's get started. And this episode is sponsored by these Patreons. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is creating the decal. Uh, decals are the things uh, that we can use to draw stuff like blood splatters, bullet damage points things like that so I'll add a example decal here like this so as you can see this decal is applied uh, to the surface to the nearby surface as we place this okay so I'll decrease the size to a little bit like this so this uh, this kind of a size it should have for a blood splatter okay so the next thing I have to do is creating the decal material for that I'm going to use this blood splatter texture okay so I'll go to my materials folder and here I'll create a decal I'll open it and here I should change the material domain to deferred decal and blend mode to translucent so that's how the this the those are the settings we require for in order to render decals uh, the next thing is I need that splatter texture this one I'll place it here and after that I have to define a color for the decal so I'll set the default value to red because I'm going to render blood with this like this and so this one this texture this texture has multiple sets of multiple splatter textures so I'm going to use take one of them so I'll take uh, I can do it like this sub there is a function called sub UV using that I can feed this texture uh, well I have to convert this to a texture object right now I can use it okay and sub images v2 so this is I think this is a vector and this has a, even though uh, there are only three lines it has a, it is like a 4 by 4 grid so I'll promote this to a parameter I'll promote this to a constant 2 vector and I'll put 2 by 2 okay and from out of this one I need 
one frame at a time so for now I'll promote this to parameter as a called frame and I'll keep it as the zero and then I'm going to use this frames uh, alpha value let's see no let's try RGB values still not getting anything wait this should be 4 by 4 right now we have one of these blood splatters okay and also we can add uh, this other parameters as well but for now I think this would be enough you can modify or improve this uh, this material as you wish on your own so this is enough for the demonstration purposes right now let's try this material we just created with this decal I'll put my material M decal right so this is the blood splatter I got I think I should change the color so I'll go here and I'll create an instance and as for the color first I'll assign this one and for the color I'll yeah blood should be a little bit darker like this right okay so now we are done with this decal creation part then what we have to do is spawn in that decal accordingly inside our ch human so I'll open my character class this one and here we have already implemented this blood trail effect if I'll demonstrate the blood, blood trail effect first so this is the blood trail effect and I'm going to spawn blood decals in each position that we can see this blood splatters are dropping on the ground right so I'll go to my ch human character class and this sounds and effects event graph is the one I am using for effects right and if I select this show you this particle effect we I have added this actor collision module so because of this one I can get an event when these particles hit ground or any other surface collide with any other surface so I'll take this event on particle collide right here and in that event I'll spawn decal at location as the decal material I'll assign the material I just created and as the decal size I'll give 10 10 10 as the location I'll give this and the rotation I think I can leave it like this because blood always face upward oh, when dropping well let's try if that works that's okay otherwise let's see what to do again and also for the lifespan I'll keep it as in the default value which is zero zero means it never expires right it's time to check okay oh 
Okay, so as you can see, this blood splatters up spawned on the ground. The color is little bit different. Let's fix it quickly. I'll make it a little lighter and try again. Okay, now it looks a little too bright, but that's all right. You can fix the color on your own. Right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. And in the next episode, let's uh, work on this uh, character AI. So that instead of they just waiting for us to attack, they will move around us and they will attack and they will block so let's work on this stuff from the next episode all right see you in the next episode goodbye and also feel free to check my patreon account as well i'll put the link in the description below there i will post the screenshots of these materials and some other important stuff Okay, goodbye.